Hi there. If you're new to the channel, my name's Roger. I am the Wandering Forester. And welcome. If you've been here before, great to see you again. I am out in the Black Mountains. I've just wandered along this stream that you can see behind me from the car park and I'm about to go up a really steep ascent so I thought this was a, a good time to uh, to say hello. A couple of years ago I set myself a target of climbing and camping on all the Hewitts in the, in the National Park and I'd sort of forgotten that over the years but uh, I do like a target so that's back on so I'm going to climb, I have climbed each one obviously over the years but uh, I'm going to climb them again camp on as many as I can in the next couple of years uh, and see how we get on. Anyway, I have a very steep ascent to do now, so I'm going to put the camera away for a bit and I'll catch up with you a bit later when I'm a bit farther up the hill. Near the top now, the views have opened up a bit. You can see to the north it's quite dark. The ridge on the horizon there, that's uh, Atoll Ridge. It was off the Stike Pass when they were on the top, the other side of that is England. So that's the English Welsh border on, there, on that ridge. Okay, let's get to the top. I find a pit, it's just coming up to half past six, so I'm thinking everybody's probably gone by now. I was aiming to get the pitch by about seven. So I'm bang on time for a change. And here is the top, the unmistakable bump on the top of Penegadar Vaur. Penegadar Vaur, 2,625 feet or 800 meters. Second highest point of the Black Mountains. Highest point is about a mile and a quarter up that way. Weinvach, which is a whole 30 foot higher. <laughs> right, I was hoping there'd be some flat bits around here. I mean, there will be, but this side, it looks like the path goes this side. I'll bet the path goes both sides. I don't really want to be squashing uh, cotton grass, but we'll see. <sighs> oh, bit of a wind. Quite the view. That's uh, Wayne Vac up there. Powys. It's Munas Troid, I guess. There's the main beacons over that way. Usk Valley between here and there. Coming around that uh, bump. Sugarloaf. South Wales down that way. Okay, time to find somewhere a bit sheltered out of this wind, which is, it's not very strong, but it's bitter cold. We'll go this way, I think. Okay, all set up now. Got my pitch. I spent a bit of time trying to get down off this light lump that's on the top out of the wind, but you know, I just felt I wanted to pitch on the top as much as I could, even though that means I gotta take, take a bit of wind. So there's the Justin. X mid 1P, solid, all set up. If you look carefully, you'll see it's, uh, it's a new fly. It's the uh, forest green one, I guess. Fortunately, being an idiot, I screwed up my sage fly. I put it away for the winter and while well, I was using the Chinook. And when I took it out, uh, first time I used it was actually, I was helping on a Duke of Edinburgh silver expedition. And I took it out the bag and I put it I put it away with the ground sheet attached and I had black impressions of the ground sheet all over the fly inside the fly so I mean I was sure I put it away dry but maybe not either way still works but you know it's embarrassing <laughs> so I decided to get a new fly so here we are, 30th of June, and it's really cold up here. I don't know what the temperature is. I think my watch might tell me. We'll have a look. 
Oh, it says nine degrees plus wind chill. The wind is really, really cold. And that clag that was on Boyne Vac a while back is working its way this way and, and it's coming down slowly. So I'm all set up, got the tent up. Um, my bag's out. I brought the uh, brought the Nemo Rift this time because uh, I didn't think it would be this cold. And um, I'll put my uh, this is the Nemo long wide pad insulated. I'll put that up later on. Uh, yeah, so I'm all set up. Got food for tonight. I'm not sure how hungry I am actually because. I've got, um, I had a roast dinner before I come out, it's Sunday, so I had a roast lunch. But I do have, I got this stuff, this is out of a ration pack, Pindi Chana Alu. So it's basically, it's chickpeas, onions and potatoes. So it feels very wet as well. And I got some rice to put in it and I got some fried onion pieces as well to give it some structure. And I got the usual soup. Oxo cubes, um, coffee. I got some street waffles for breakfast, and a yogurt and a protein bar, cocoa oat. So that's that's food. I'll get that on in a minute. But first things first, let's get the brew on because it is bitterly hot. I brought a bit of luxury this time because I'm going to be cooking in this pan. I thought, why not have a plate just for a change? So, all set up, got a gas cooker for a change. I've let the missus know where I am, that I'm all right. So, uh, I just managed to connect, found out that England beat Slovakia right in the dying breath. Ha, <laughs> hopeless. Right, so. Yeah, I'll get the kettle on and then when I've warmed up a little bit, I'll go for a bit of a wander around and uh, show you where I am. Oh, that's cold. There we go. Well, the clag's right in now. I can see probably 30 yards, but there's no view at all. Had to resort to the puffy jacket. It's so cold, I can't believe it. So July tomorrow. I mean, okay, I'm in a sort of 10, 15 mile an hour winds and gusts maybe, but you know, it's just ridiculous. So I'm just nipping up to the top a whole like 20 yards to have a look, see what I can see. And the answer is, not a right lot. I don't know, what is it with me and Clag? Never mind. Oh, I was watching a video today by Alan Metalman, who was up, is it Amboth Crag, Armboth Fell? and High Tove up in the Lake District on uh, National Walking Naked Day. <sighs> so he was due to meet a couple up there who had traffic problems and didn't arrive. So he did uh, a short naked hike on top of the fell all by himself. I'm glad it's not National Hiking Naked Day today because I mean like proper brass monkeys isn't it? Anyway, well done, Alan. You won't catch me doing it, but uh, good luck to you, pal. Ah, right. I'm going to dive in the tent. It's coming up to eight o'clock, so I'm thinking about some dinner. I think. Let's see what's in here then. I have no idea really. Ooh. It's chickpeas, 90% chickpeas. 
Good job I like chickpeas then. Right, onions. These are uh, pre-fried. Give it a bit of crunch. And that means now I've got a bag to put my rubbish in. Yay! The thing about the rice is you have to sort of break it in. Comes as a oops, comes as a lump, so you're gonna I have washed my hands. In case you're wondering. And wooden spoon. The problem with the cooker, of course, is that the heat is confined into the middle, isn't it? Pindi chala alu with onions and curry powder and rice. Oh, it's not bad. I don't know if I, yeah, I've said this before, but that's the last piece of. Yes, yeah, the last bit of the uh, ration packs. Hmm, that I was gifted from the Forest Food Bank because it's not something they can use. So, thank you very much, Fire Martin Williams. Cheers, bud. I might investigate ration packs because some of this, some of this, most of the stuff I've had has been really nice. So forecast had clouds above the top of the hills. 90% chance, it said, of cloud-free summits. And it's not cloud-free. I've just walked down the hill a bit to see if I can get underneath it. But look, hopeless. And the wind's dropped. So I'm glad that I did stay up on the top because uh, if I'd been down below, I would have had no view and wouldn't have camped on the top, would I? So, yeah, I guess. Um, yeah, it's annoying. So uh, I think the only thing I can do is sit in the tent, hope that the clag rolls by, that there is some sort of view at some point. Listen to some podcasts. Actually, I've got one that I'm going to listen to. It's an old one from, I think, from 2019. I don't know if you're aware of Mark Steele, who goes around different towns and places and basically takes the mick out of them. Well, he came to the Forest of Dean a while back. And uh, I've got that podcast on my phone now. I can't, obviously, I can't play it to you because of copyright. But it's on BBC Sounds. Check it out. Mark Steele and the Forest of Dean will tell you quite a lot about the place I live, which is a bit unique. Right, so I'll go, <laughs> if you ever watch Leo Man in Mountain, he gives you 360 reviews. So this is your 360 view from Penegadavar. There we go, then there's north and east and south and west. There you go. Oh well. <laughs> Today is actually more about me relaxing than anything else. Got a busy summer. I got work to do on the house. Work to do on mother-in-law's house. Ah, uh, you know. Stuff. So I'm going to come out every so often, relax. I occasionally bring Liam with me when she wants to come. So I'm going to get in the tent, put on a podcast, chill. Okay, I'm going to get my head down now, I think. It's about 11 o'clock. Uh, yeah, 
It's not been the most exciting camp. I was thinking that as this is the second highest part of the Black Mountains, it'd be a decent view because we were promised a cloud above the hills, but it didn't happen, um, not until it was too late. Hopefully it'll cheer up in the morning, but we'll see. Anyway, I'll leave you for now and I'll, I'll talk to you again in the morning. Good morning. Kettle's on. It's about quarter to six coming up and it's cold. Slept okay. Fell asleep pretty quickly actually. Um, woke up just, just after sunrise. Such as it was, just a lot of slim, slim, slim. Uh, like a finger of red in between two clouds and that was about it. Anyway, kettle's on. I'm going to get up and get out of here. And what can we see this morning? Absolutely nothing. I know I said last night I was put, pitched next to a path, but there's like there's a path there, there's one there, there's one there, one there, one there, and one there. So you've got no chance, have you? So I guess I might as well just pack up and go. It's going to be like this all day, for the next couple of hours at least. So, yeah, let's wander on. Double porch mode engaged. I'll uh, just let, let the air through, try to get out any condensation that's in there. Not that there was much, although I am camping in a cloud, of course. Right, time to pack up, go home. Well, finally, I've got a bit of a view. That's looking east over Hatterall Ridge to England. Small amount of colour in the sky. Down there, Skurud, start of the Brigham's Way. Sugarloaf. And then over there, way in the distance, the Brecon Beacons. But there was a view and we almost missed it. Right, I'm going to take the tent down and uh, get on my way. Well, that's me all packed up, ready to go. It's so cold, I can't believe it's July today. Wow. Anyway, that's where I was. A bit of flattened grass, as you can see. I've counted all my pegs, picked up all my rubbish, packed it away, and I'll get on home now. Well, that was uh, pretty uneventful, really, for a camp. Didn't see anything until just now. Uh, but there you go. Anyway, hopefully the next one will have some sunshine and a bit of warmth. And maybe I'll see you then. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again. <laughs> Forgot my camera again. <laughs>